What is up guys, we are back some more of the Thaumaturge and we're doing this side quest still for Marana uh, where we have to get this case uh, reopened, I guess, um, because they took in old boy. Get it away from me! I don't want to touch it. Yellow belly. <laughs> Shut up! Hey you! What do you want here? Uh, why are you talking to me like that? First off. What, what is that you're playing with? It's a hook from a real dead man. A dead man's hook. Quiet, you dolts. This hook is from the fisherman's victim, isn't it? So what if it is? What's it to you? They've already caught the murderer. What if I tell you that they didn't? That they caught the wrong man? The fuck they did. Oof, Get the language. Lost. Unless... We trade for it. Got anything interesting to barter with? <laughs> so we have two. We have demand the hook and scare him. So let's demand the hook. Well, give me the hook because I say so. It's not a toy. Oi! Me attack! This flunky wants to show us his pecker in the bushes. You perverted fuck! Touching children, is it? I'll give you a pounding that the dungeon can only dream of! I can't of. manipulate his mind to, like, show him that these kids are lying? This was not ready for this. Uh... Let's see. Invulnerability. Recovery. Invulnerability. Oh. We gotta take these ones out. <laughs> Cover, I don't care too much about actually. My first time using that one. I think we're playing this a little bit smarter. Y'all are doing hella damage. What the what the heck? Please don't kill me. Alright, we're almost there on like a successful first time combat. <laughs> Messing these dudes up.
There we go. <laughs> you sure showed them. Well, well. I admit that you know how to fight. At first, I took you for a police oaf. But I was wrong. How flattered I am by your compliments. I thank you most sincerely for them. And now, I would like to get this hook. Well, after a fight like that, you earned it. Uh oh, give me that shit before I stomp you out. Hey, what's this supposed to be? I mean, shut it! So what now? Don't stick your nose where it doesn't belong. Why? You think you can put me off, fancy pants? Patrick and Lick Spittle for the coppers. Shut your mouths! Or you lose even more teeth. I'll help you. Come find me near Antiaja's brothel. We can resume the investigation there. All right, enough of this. Let's leave this place. I'm not gonna lie, this voice acting was trash for the, for this kid. Like, what what the heck was that? Canny lad. Hello. I'm on my break. Come back later. Uh, ma'am. I sent him, Auntie Clara. We're doing an investigation together. You're always up to something, Piotrush. What investigation? What are we doing here? What do you mean? The aunties are the key to the world of information. They know and hear more than anyone else in Povishle. Are you his actual aunt? You really are a tourist. Of course they're not. But I prefer them to the real ones. They always help me somehow when I'm in trouble. They'll dress a wound, give me an apple, or a beer. Piotrush, Piotrush, nothing gets by you. You remember that lady's gloves? I said I liked them once, and he brought them to me the next day. Well, just say the word. What do you know about the fisherman? All I know is he's in jail. Finally. This cursed place can breathe a little. He's not in jail, though. We're looking for the real one. Piotrush, is that the investigation you're playing? What do you mean, playing? We are both dead serious and committed, Auntie. You better watch out. You'll get in trouble. I needn't have come here. It's not over yet. Now we split. You go grill the other aunties, and I'll see you later. After dark, some of them work here. And others Man, in the street. This kid's voice is just super Remember annoying. Remember to tell them I sent you. Piotrek Justa, that is. And ask better questions this time. Please. Watch him. If anything happens to him, it's your fault. Girl, shut up. Wait until nightfall. There was like a bench somewhere. Oh, we got a pawn shop we can go to that's near uh, one of those waiting benches. Let's check out this pawn shop real quick. Buy selection, what can we buy? Hello. Hello, hello. How can I help you, sir? Are you buying? Pledging? Art, cards, old farts, top coats, key, jewelry. Do you remember Mieszko said Semin? He was a lone shark around here. And you're asking me because? No reason. Setsemin died a long time ago. 
They say someone attacked and shot him. Terrible tragedy. Terrible. Even talking about him might bring bad luck. And so, life goes on here in Powiśle. All right, I Goodbye. guess I need more information. Changing the time of day. Yep, we'll do just that. Let's wait. Let's wait until... Uh, until night. So, let's kill some time. And then we'll head back over to the brothel because I think I'm pretty much everything else is like locked it looks like. Here's one to talk to. Cloud behind the corner, five copies. Naked in a bed, 15. A blow will cost you three. Unless you just want to watch something, then it's two. If it's something else you're after, you can fuck off. Or I'll call for help. Okay. Piotrek Justa sent me. He's a nice kid. Piotr sent you? Well, why didn't you say so? I'll give you a discount though. No, that's not why I'm here. I just want to talk. Well, fire away before someone is on to us. The fisherman. Have you heard anything about him? Only the things everyone's been prattling on about. But if it's information you want, buy yourself a newspaper. Two copecas. Any other questions? Or should we get to the point? I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. Do not want to talk to now. We'll just head back over this way, I guess. Oh, we got multiple. Good evening. Good evening. What do you want? I bet he's a customer. Do you want to put him off? How do I know if he is a customer or not? Bad things happen in this weather. You're right. What brings you here? What do you know about the fisherman? What an odd question. Unless... God, it's him. He came to kill us. Oh, come on. But they just got him. That freak who painted corpses was the fisherman. He created inspiration for himself. Right? Take it easy. I was sent here by Piotrek Justa. Somehow I don't believe you. Maybe you got him too, fisherman. Really? Piotrek introduced me to Auntie Clara too. I assure you they are both alive. I just want to talk to you. Well, if you hang around with Piotrek, you can be the fisherman. Especially if you're that handsome. Okay, okay, let's go. This is Auntie Clementina, and you can call me you give me Auntie a Anastasia, like the Tsar's daughter. But we don't know anything about the fisherman, and we'd rather not talk about him. Dang. I'll be off now. Something is blocking some of the dialogue. I felt safer with you around. Yeah, 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 I'm sure you did. All right, guys, so we're back here to talk to the Commissioner Pelavin and see what the dialogue gives us. What more do you want from me? Uh... I got the hook from the victim's body. Local kids had stolen it. I already have a few of these. Because of it, I know... Let's call it the scent of the murderer. A thermotage could be useful in a case like this. But the case is closed. That's enough. 
When I get sober, I put you in jail, I swear. Now leave me alone. We'll see about that. I'll find out why you're so reluctant to run this investigation, and then we'll resume it together. What? You're going to cast a spell on me, magician? Who knows? Don't go anywhere. I felt something. Where is it? So that's how you want to play. Word four. I failed. Word five. And so I, I think we might have to come back to this so. Fortunately, we'll head out. I need to get word up more. At least that's what it seems like. All right, guys, so we're deciding to go back to one of the main quests, so what we leave behind, so we're just gonna find out about our dad's dying moments. I think we're at the building that like fell on him. Chaos, only chaos could be felt here. Wild fury radiated from here. The owner of the shoe was a haughty soul who feared nothing, for whom death was an intruder destroying the order of the universe. He had his feet firmly on the ground, and even when death stared him in the eye, he did not give in to the instincts to flee. Yes, this shoe belonged to my father. Memories of the father, what is left of him, completes his image as a tenacious man with a hard heart. Interestingly, he expected death, although it came sooner than he expected, which clearly upset him, and the death that came for him was a strong, uncomprising fury. Am I a magician or what? Oh, there's there's our boy up here, upper. Death did not catch my father by surprise. It seems as if he had been expecting it, just not at that moment. He was practically annoyed about it. There was something he had wanted to finish. And this building, it couldn't have just fallen down like that right as he was going by. Hey, Suski! What? Chicken butt! That was lame. Hey, Ma. There you go. Tighter. We took his book. Well done. Alright. Let's wake the asshole up. Abraham Lincoln. Wakey, wakey. What? What's... Well, come on, Sleeping Beauty. I haven't got all day. Now, let me get a good look at you. You look rough, fancy boy. This isn't what I was expecting. Do I look rough? What's the meaning of this? Who are you? A shooting star am I, for a moment flickering, granting hope, holding fearful humanity briefly by the throat, before suddenly vanishing. Hold on. About it. Someday, this poetry will be the end of me. Long time no see, Shursky. What kind of a sick idea is this? Kidnapping me? It's a joke! You don't find it funny? No. What does it feel like to have your life depend on me? Enough of this. It's not funny. And it's not scary. The fucking Shulskis. Always looking down your noses. It's because of you my pop died the way he did. And it's because of you I ended up on the street. Well, fuck, Victor. We pulled the trigger together. There'd be nothing to talk about if you hadn't nicked Pop's pistol. 
So how come Pop and I were the ones to pay the price, huh? Who? I remember it a little differently. Oh, now that makes me curious. Does it just so happen that in your version, you're innocent? No, I'm not. And you're not either. But it's my father's fault most of all. What a convenient answer. He's not going to defend himself now, is he? I don't have any intention of changing your mind. We were dumb kids. I can't change the past. Yeah. Full of foreboding, he desired to push away his memories. You did? Where's that rat? What the fuck? Boss, it's the Cossacks again. Come here, coward. Looks like you've got a chance for redemption. We got a fight. Or are we fighting together or something? Like, what's up? Let's show these dickheads you don't mess with the shifts. Well, that was kind of easy to get our groomer back. I'll take a look around. Inventory of debts. You guys again. You shitheads better have a good excuse, because I was right in the middle of an incredibly important meeting. It was fate that decided. We flipped a coin, and it turns out that today we're practicing our boxing on you. Some oh. I know you. Another salutor. You know, I can't remember now. Fucked up, but today you'll regret it. Today I've got the demon master on my side. Show these cretins, Victor. But what was up with that other sight? Holy sh my guy got a whole pirate sword out here. Can we, what can we can we improve anything? I gotta do this old one thing. I need to use this more. I like never use this actually now that I think about it. That's probably what's messing me up too. We'll see how things go. And vulnerability. And you're good, so. Dang, I was hoping we'd break his uh, thing, but I guess not.
Jeez, bro. Relax. There we go. <laughs> you never let me down. This is the best way to start an evening at Nyejit's bar. If we're to have fun, let's do it right. A round for everyone. <laughs> Old friendships never die, right? Here, Polish, pure, the mother of all libations. Enjoy it! Who knows what piss you've been drinking abroad. So, are we quits? I helped you out. Now, can we forget all that ancient history? Don't be so sly, Victor. We're not squared up, yet. That burns nicely. My knuckles are itching. Let's go somewhere and pick a fight. Jeez, bro. Good riddance. Well, what do you say, Victor? It seems to me there's work for me to do at your bar. No shit. I'll give you a hand. Not like that. Thaumaturgical work. It seems to me... There's a salutar here. What the fuck? Who brought a demon into my joint? I'll give him... Although, hang on now. A demon is a good publicity. Hey Hopefully it's the word one. From so that way I can do the forth, other side quest. The London bar will be known as... The Demon's Den! Go and tell everybody that here is the only place you can do shots in the Devil's Company. Listen, you keep on thinking about how you can develop your business, and I'm going to take a look around and come right back. Go! I'm going to wet my whistle and see how you do your hocus pocus. If you need something, I'm here, and I'll give you a hand. Alrighty. Tells me to go do my hocus pocus. Reckless man. Okay, drops the blood seep deep into the wood. We'll listen to this. Gotta get that EXP. Oh wow, so those so kids. Nothing can be kept secret from me. A cloth is stained with fresh blood, the ultimate blood. That which flows from a fatal wound. The London Bar couldn't belong to anyone else as it perfectly represents Abercry's nature. I think we know enough about them now, right? Oh, yep, yeah, because there's upper... Vodka. Revelry, extreme opinions, violence. That giant bird must enjoy it. And I'm sure it also stirs up the chaos. Victor, time for penalty drinks. Feathers and beak, those eyes. Who are you? I can't focus. Don't make me come over there! Do I know someone with mood swings, a tendency for bravado, and a weakness for booze? <laughs> sure do. Have you nosed around my humble little hole in the wall? What's the word? The bird is the word. I've had a look around and something's caught my attention. 
I think they might have something to do with the Saluta. Well then, shoot! Who smashed your window? How long it's been? Uh, two days, I think. This one Russian bigwig was really fucking irritating me, so I politely asked him to leave. What else can I help you with? Tell me. Uh, I'm at your service. Did anybody die from this bullet that got stuck in the post? Bullets fly every which way here. That's the atmosphere. Was someone killed? Probably, but that's not very unusual. Look how helpful I am. Keep going. Uh, but he's not helpful. <laughs> a bucket of dirty water and a blood-soaked rag. Whose blood is this? As if I remember everybody who's bled on the floor here. Every day we've got to clean up after somebody. Is that everything, or have you found anything else? You like to go wild here, huh? Are you often the one who gets the old crazy ball rolling? You know I used to have a puppy. This little fluff ball was hanging out under the bar. I have a heart, Victor. I have a big heart. Not like those morons over there. To Cossacks, a game without a corpse is no game at all. For me, knocking out teeth, breaking hands, I'll take it. A stiff spoils the mood a bit. That's my opinion. What happened to the puppy? He was called Romeo. Uh, he fell in love. One day he packed his bags and uh, ran off with that bitch. I'm sure he uh, started a family. He's raising his puppies and reminiscing. Yeah. My brave little guy. Uh, but what were we talking about? You get a lot of stiffs here then? Where my corpse here lieth down. Something, something looketh around. What do you call a lot? Th three a month on average, I'd say. Danis, that Cossack with a dick where his head should be, pulled out his revolver one day and wanted to play Russian roulette. Only with his revolver. But fuck it. I'm not handing my head over so easily to a butcher like that. Well, then I'll ask you. Is he an idiot or what? I have to gather my thoughts. Go ahead, go ahead. I have to gather myself a little too. Lelek. What the hell did you say, Victor? You're out of your goddamn mind. The Salutor's name's Lelek. Well, yes, the beak, the feathers, the trill. He loves the smell of death and he enjoys risk and foolishness, which he also fuels. So let's go get Lelek. Yeah, come on. Where about it is, Lelek could be as well. Maybe his flaw is speaking for him. Whoever's with us is with us, and whoever's against us, fuck him. Come on, I'll show you places even the philosophers never dreamed of. Maybe your demon will be drinking vodka somewhere there too. It said we got a journal entry for it, right? Take a deep breath. That's the smell of Warsaw nightlife. Smell it, Victor. Relish it. A bouquet of sweat, shit, and puke. And piss, thanks. But it's Warsaw's piss and puke, interwoven with the aroma of steadfastness and heroism. Come on, you'll see the true face of Abauritsi Nijits. And maybe you'll even find what you're looking for here.
Mass of a ruthless gangster conceals a truly sensitive soul. Torn between conflicting feelings, he balances on a thin line between beauty and ugliness. Tenderness and violence confronting him with his inner chaos might reveal his flaw. Welcome to my world. Meaning what? That they've got a guy tied up in the back here too, and they're about to threaten to drown him in the Vistula? I see the positive mood of the neighborhood has infected you. Wonderful. But you guessed wrong, friend. Here, well, magic happens here. Thought is transformed into word to penetrate the material and infuse the universe with tenderness. All right, let's drink, shall we? A double barrel each, please. People come here to tickle their palates with exquisite libations. Let's do a milk of 83. You're not messing around. After years of begging and eating scraps off aristocratic tables, I'm not messing around. You come here to get some fresh air away from the underworld? I come here so I don't forget who I am. A poet. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. I think Lelek is attached to you. A demon following me around? Bullshit. There are a lot of indications. Your personality, the things you do, and... Stuff like that. I'd rather not have anyone sharing my head with me. Can you do something about it? There's only one way. I have to figure out your flaw, which means pushing you to the edge. But it's not going to be pleasant. Every day I balance on the edge. That doesn't scare me. Go ahead. I found your poem. Did you write it in your own blood or that of one of your victims? Victims? The hell are you talking about? Of course it was mine. I slice my veins open for art. That's how committed I am. Hey, that's weird. More like desperate. No true poet needs to resort to gimmicks. He just needs ink and the world will hear him. Shit. One more word and I'll forget about our friendship. There's nothing to forget. Our friendship is just a figment of your sick imagination. That didn't do anything. Stab me in the heart. It'll hurt less. I warned you it wouldn't be nice. So you did, but, well, it still hurts to hear. Wait, is that all? What about that demon? Nothing. It actually looks as though it latched onto someone else. You are simply out of your mind. Well, of course I am. Not that I'm scared. Nothing frightens me. But some weight has actually lifted from my heart. So what? Should we continue our search? Oh, Victor, lad. How that we tickles me. Come on. Of course we're continuing. We have to find that little brat of yours. On to the next. Wow, do you give up, you piece of shit? Do you see what I see? I see two morons wrestling with a lamppost. How are you fellas doing? Who's winning? It's a colossus looking down its nose, arrogant piece of... I swear it called us sons of bitches. Well, that would piss anyone off.
As I look at it and then at you, I've got to admit the lamppost is right. That what? That you're a pair of sons of bitches, that's what. You're taking the enemy's side? Suit yourself. We're not giving in. <laughs> Why is he ready with the blinky? Vulnerability and recovery. Back with upper, back with Bukovic. Oh, hitting harder now. Oh, you can heal? Just healed up, old boy? Get that. Now, this is a productive night. The more brawling, the better. Please visit us again. Time to keep an eye out for Dennis. He was injured in the fight with the Colossus and got lost. I think. Maybe the Ataman ended up at the Lockstock. Where? The Lock, Stock, and Barrel. This Ruski bar up the stairs here. Competition. The night's still young. There's excitement ahead. Let's follow them. Since I haven't yet found Lelik, that could be just where he is. Lelik's influence needs to be spreading across the district, pushing people to engage in stupidity and recklessness. Private party tonight, no riffraff. Cheers, Ivan, my friend. Mr. Nyejits, well, I've got clear instructions. Don't be silly. It's a beautiful night out. Rare when we see stars over Warsaw. But now look. One, two. If you count them all, you'll know the extent of my gratitude. Well, all right, go on in. I'm fond of you, Mr. Nyejits. I'm just doing my job. You see? That's respect. That was, that was a little too easy for him to let us in. This is what they call a private party? Up oh, there it is. What is this awake? Good thing we showed up. Double barrel for me. 
Actually, make that two. Some of these points we got to save up <laughs> for when we get this uh, salutor. So, barrel pressed against his own temple, his finger on the trigger, and cows in the heart. Oh, because this is the person that wanted to play uh, Russian roulette. Unpredictable, reckless Dennis, whose heart is filled with the incomprehensible ink. Eh. Incomprehensible anger hides his suffering, grief, and longing. Torn by conflicting emotions, he sows chaos and falls into extremes. His behavior stems from his broken heart, which has become his curse. It is he that Lelik has taken a fancy to. It is his flaw that I need to identify. Then, upper. Is there anything else in here for really quick for me to read? There's Danis there to talk to, but let's talk to upper. Danis doesn't think about what he's doing, and he doesn't care about the consequences, as if it's all in the name of fun. He couldn't cope with his broken heart, so he started tumbling further and further into the depths of chaos. I think Danis took the breakup with his fiancée really hard. Losing in love is driving him to irrational behavior. Time to figure out his flaw and catch Lelek. I wonder if he'll play Russian roulette with me. Let's let's go and see. Come on, don't make me back. I'll fix up your head for no extra fee. I'm in no hurry to go upstairs. I feel like a game. You up for one? Me? Forget it. I have gorgeous hands. Everyone says so. You're not gonna carve them up with that shank. What? You eavesdropping, magician? A little bit. I found something that belongs to you. A letter. Is... Hand that over. If you read it, you'll regret it. It's private. Easy now. I just wanted to talk. We don't have anything to talk about. Leave me alone. You're sitting there so quietly. How about a little game? You play Russian roulette here, lads? Or are you too soft? Ha! Think you're harder than me? I eat Russian roulette for breakfast. Let's play. Did someone say Russian roulette? You're gonna play too? Show us what a tough guy you are, pretty boy. Six chambers, one bullet. Ready to start? Wait, Victor. Let's play with mine. Ah, uh, damn. We're gonna we're gonna go with his revolver. Yours would do too. It would be more interesting that way. Does this remind you of anything? My turn. It was nice knowing you guys. And you, Victor. If fate so ordains, we'll speak in hell. Well, four more. Ah! We're starting round two. You like that feeling of blood rushing through your veins? Makes you feel alive, right? Shut your trap! This is intense. What? You shitting your pants? Gods of chaos, watch over.
That's the end. We know what's waiting in the cylinder. You brave enough to cross even that final boundary? Enough, gentlemen. We were kidding around. Danis, there's nothing in there. I didn't load it. You're lying, Nijits. You're all lying. You think I'm scared of death? The sight of me makes the Grim Reaper quake in his boots. Well, go ahead. Watch carefully. Damn. <laughs> Dude really does have a death wish. Is that lovely song for me? Don't stop. I'm enjoying listening. Damn, that kind of hurt. And then he's gonna have reinforcements, I think, too, right? We'll reduce the focus here, so that way we can get uh, our strong attacks off. That's a long attack, so we might as well set that up. Y'all need to stop slicing me up. Relax. This is gonna hurt. I did this the wrong order. And I have too much stuff, like, bleeding me. Damn, yeah.
We'll get this right. We'll get this right. Alright, we gotta take you out or reduce your focus, actually. So we gotta stop her. <laughs> she does a lot, seven to 11. Take you out, we're gonna get a nice heal up too. With upper. Or maybe we didn't get a heal. Yep, you're dead.
Try to interrupt. Yep, we got to interrupt off. Nice. Don't matter what we do, you're dead. There better not be more people popping up. <laughs> Alright, there we go, guys. We got it. We got it. Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. Yeah, he really trying. Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. Jeez, buddy. Get your ass out of here, wizard. Follow Nedjits to his joint. To the demon's den, you semi literate swine. Shut it, silly, or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second to get my thoughts together. I have to. Ah, uh, seems we could tell him it's time to suffer the consequences. Let's do this one. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. You need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on. No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. He's going to shoot himself. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. This dude's like not even rendered all the way back Seems there. Seems to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Venice, we are your brothers forever till the day we die. Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. We sure do. What a poetic experience. I can feel it in my bones as if I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. But tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. I gotta look sick as hell. Was it worth it? I don't know. At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis' fate. And that's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. I really don't have the energy anymore. Respect that. I didn't kidnap you just to let you go that easily. No, sir. There's no better medicine than Aqua Vita. Let's go drink. Jeez. Poor. He really won't let us get some rest. To us, to you, to vodka. Sure, your demon, Victor. <laughs> it's not Damn. on my shoes. We are really drunk. <laughs> Victor, Victor, boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. Call me Abe, bro. <laughs> 99 bottles standing on the wall. Hey. <gasps> yeah.
Yeah, we got lit lit. <laughs> you know, he also looks like Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and we still well, look like shit. Hello, sleeping beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Njejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite... Quite, schmite. It was spectacular. And we both know it. I mean, we blacked we out, so it must have been lit. Yeah, if Ligia finds us. Ligia! And by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? Yes, yes. I see you're looking after our good name, brother. At your service, sister. You know that for me, our family's good name always comes last. I'll pretend that those words are a product of your present indisposition. Appreciate it. Lydia, sweetheart, don't listen to this idiot. It's the booze talking, not him. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? If I needed a loan, it was because I'm broke. Then go fish around at home. A gold watch if Satanisuavs would come in handy. He doesn't care anymore. Satanisuav? Here, from now on, you can cover your own tabs. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. No. Nah. And now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. Sounds All right. cool. Don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. Next time? <laughs> so you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. He talks a little too much. I need to see Rasputin. But all right, cool. Captured, but untamed slighters won't obey your orders. Go to Rasputin. And then we got to pay him a visit, too, because it looks like our perception has been weakened. Uh... Don't even can we sell what on the map this is for? A new quest. Yeah, we'll go talk to you later. Let's go to Rasputin real quick. What do you want to tell me, friend? Yeah, we'll come back to you too. Uh I think it's here, right? I think that's why when I went to go visit him, it was like, hey, like, uh, what do you want to talk about? That's like all he kept mentioning. Got a quest there, too. Damn, we got a, a couple quests, actually. But we'll go talk to Rasputin real quick first. Mr. Shulsky. Is Rasputin. Sad. What up, boy? Unless I'm mistaken, and you've come with something unpleasant. Actually, I don't feel great. Let's see what you brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. 
follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. Damn, just like that. Why did it pop up twice over there, though? For taming him. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. All right. No, I won't bother. And we but will not... leave on that note. But let's look. So we got... This one's actually for a different one, huh? For mind. Okay. Looks like we got reduced focus protects you against states being inflicted on you. Oh, that's going to be nice. Reduce focus removes all negative states from you and transfers them to an enemy. So when we get bleed, we can set this up. That'll be nice. Reduce focus interrupts an enemy's planned action if the enemy is in a suffering state. And then inflict damage, lower all enemies focus by one. Ah, that's clutch. But yo, with that said, guys, I'm in the episode off here. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.